Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to discuss masks. Obviously, very important part of your dive gear. If you don't have a good mask, can't see properly, you're not going to be able to use any of your gear. Absolutely pointless. A mask is a very important part of your gear. So as you can see, there's many masks here, many shapes. This is to try and cover as wide a variety of face shapes as possible. You'll see the majority are dark. We generally sell gear primarily to free divers. With scuba, guys use a clear mask. The clear mask is fine for scuba, not really suitable for surface swimming. On the surface, when you're looking down, light shines in, reflects off the lens, and this can be quite off-putting when snorkeling or free diving, spear fishing. Dark masks prevent that from happening, but some people, especially lady divers, at times can feel claustrophobic with looking down a tunnel virtually. Also in scuba, it's easier to recognize people through clear skirts than a full dark mask. Let's go back a step. Those of you who can remember old movies, Jacques Cousteau, he had pretty much a round mask. These are what came out in the beginning. They were made out of rubber. Rubber, you could smell them, they were made of rubber. They tended to seal very well. Disadvantage, they would perish over time. And sometimes you would end up with a black ring around the face. A lot of people thought, well, this is the only way available. The problem with it, as you can see, there's a very long distance between lens and skirt. This pushes your line of sight into almost a tunnel vision. The trend then is to slowly bring that back. This is a low volume mask, really suitable for deep diving. Disadvantage is your vision is somewhat restricted. A lot of people find having two lenses puts this space in the middle of your line of sight. The problem with that is when hunting open water. When you're around the bottom looking for reef, you have a lot of visual references around you as the reef, for instance, so it's much easier for you to judge depth. But in open water hunting game fish, having this big block in the middle of your sight can affect your ability to judge depth. And guys often tend to shoot from too far away. Especially with game fish or up in the clean water, it's quite deceptive. Another point to consider is don't necessarily go for the smallest lenses. Large, especially in this range, is very good for enabling you to look down or behind you. So this big teardrop shape in twin lenses is very good. Obviously, if a twin lens mask fits you best, I'm not knocking twin lenses. You can use a similar shape, single lens. And that comes quite close to the face. You'll find with a big lens like this, it has very wide vision, both up, down, and left and right. It's always a good idea to fit the mask, have a look through it, check your left, right vision up, down, then swap over to the other mask and check that and do a comparison. What's also a big issue is the way masks collapse. Once you're diving, that mask can flex and collapse. In some cases, it means it actually compensates for that air volume. You don't have to exhale quite as much as a similar mask with a stiffer skirt. This is a frameless. Quite often frames end up being quite bulky and can affect your forward vision. Obviously, an important part of the mask is your strap. Where you position that strap on your head can make the difference between leaking or not leaking. Sometimes pulling it further down will help seal better, sometimes further up. So this is very specific from person to person. Also consider the tension. Sometimes too tight against your face can create a leak or the other way around, too loose can leak. So juggle with that tension. It's really nice to have a mask that is easy to adjust in the water. This one, there's two little buckles on the side, easy to adjust in the water. A lot also like to use neoprene straps. The advantage of the neoprene is mainly for ladies who have a problem with their hair being entangled in these rubberized straps. Disadvantage for guys wearing them over a wetsuit is they're much more slippery and easier to knock off. So 
Most prefer rubber straps, but there are neoprene straps available. So there's an example of a neoprene strap. Fine for people with long hair, not wearing a hood, work fine, but I wouldn't use this on a hooded suit. So be aware of masks that have quite long overhangs. If you're looking down, it really restricts your forward view. It's almost like wearing a peak. So as close as you can get the top to your head, the better your upward vision or if you're down facing your forward vision. So I hope you new guys know more about masks and I hope I've taught some of the older guys a trick or two about choosing a mask. We haven't discussed fogging. We'll bring that up in the next one.